My name is uh, Patrick Delaney. I'm a biological scientist for Florida Fish and Wildlife and um, work with alligator research. Well, during the summer, that's our main field season. So starting in May, we're going to go out and um, we actually survey alligators for our, our statewide harvest. So we go out um, the whole month of May and go to all the lakes pretty much around Florida um, and survey, see how many alligators we got out there, if the population is going up or down, and um, bring them back to them in our database and see how many alligators we can harvest for that year. A typical day starts out for egg collections is we all wake up real early, usually around 5.45, get together, get um, kind of a plan together, get to the boat ramp. And we all put in, there's a, a big crew of us, I think there's 14 of us all in the group, and we have five different boats that are collecting, two commission boats and three farmer boats. And then we also have a helicopter that's going to be uh, spotting all the alligators. For us. So we all get out, wait for the helicopter to get here, and then as soon as he gets going, we follow him and kind of leapfrog from there, going nest to nest to nest. When the helicopter starts spotting the nest, it's going to come up, and uh, we have the radios, so we can go ahead and we can communicate back and forth, which is real good, which helps us. But as soon as when the helicopter spots the nest, he's going to get a hold of the first boat that's closest to him and um, bring him over, just signal him over, or talk to him on the radio. You go in, it tells you where it is, and you can either drive your airboat up on uh, into the marsh or up on land and go as back, far back as you can, or you can walk back, which sometimes it's easier because you don't get your boat stuck. We start looking for the nest and we start working our way back there. I mean, you have to be careful because alligators are just, they're very good mothers and they will protect their eggs with everything they got. So if they're right there, you have to be very careful because they hiss and they're very, very aggressive. I put, we had nose the boat up, we had all the boards going straight down. And I was about ready to just slide right in. And I stopped and the boat was running and I heard this hissing. And right at the end of my board, so mama had her mouth open just like that. When we mark them, when the eggs are laid, the embryo attaches to the very top of the egg and it starts to vascularize all around it. So when the embryo is attached to the very top and it starts to spread out along there. So in the early stages of development and when it's starting to develop, um, to develop while it's incubating, if you move it or tilt it, it'll detach and the embryo will die. So that's why it's very important we mark them because when we're moving them all around, if by some chance we didn't know where the top was and it was flipped over, it would be a dead egg. So very important that we mark them just right when we see whichever the way they're facing up in the nest we just mark the egg. Just collecting eggs out here and uh, driving their boats back in the vegetation um, you get stuck a lot. Um, some boats are better than others. Um, my boat is kind of heavy and I'm a big guy too so there's a lot of weight on the boat. Um, so getting stuck is very common and it happens. Some of the vegetation out here you wouldn't look at it and you're like oh it looks like there's water underneath that but certain types of vegetation will suck you in and you will not be able to move. You can have a whole boat. You can be going full throttle, hit some of this vegetation or a mud flat, and you will stop dead and get chucked out of the boat. So getting stuck happens a lot. And we're putting these boats in situations where they're not normally supposed to be, and we push it a little bit to get back there because the more, the farther back the boat can get, that's the less we have to walk and strain our bodies. But the trade-off because when we have the boat back there and it's stuck, you're really straining your body to get the, the boat back out. things about my job is just getting to play with alligators. I get to work with kids, I get to go around and talk to schools about alligators, snakes, all types of Florida reptiles. I get to go out and drive an airboat all the time. I've always wanted to do this, so this is a dream come true. Um, 